hello guys if you like my channel please don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell icon so that you can get notified for hello everyone you are most welcome again on my channel and uh, we are going to talk about the topic poetry in the restoration age so the representative uh, poet or writer or composer is dryden first we will be talking about this if you have not watched previous videos you can watch them uh, he was born in 1631 and died in 1700. Remember this thing, 1700, because this is the end of the restoration is with this representative poet. Northamptonshire. So Northamptonshire is the place where he was born. He moved to London in 15, 1657 or uh, 1658. Here, there, there are some uh, special notes and these are very, very important to know. Okay, Dryden is very important, uh, you know, uh, writer to study for his exam because he is the representative. So don't miss, miss these things, watch till the end. He was a Cromlite till the restoration. So what is Cromlite means uh, he was Cromlite because he was following him. He was the follower of Cromwell. But later he praised Charles I as well. And uh, he also wrote a work, Astria Redex. Unhone Charles II ke praise me ek work likha tha, Astria Redex. He was awarded by the king for his loyalty. He was uh, loyal to king. With the accession of James II, he changed his faith and became Catholic. Okay, so if you don't know what happened at that time, you should watch the previous video. I have uh, told in detail about this. Some important work, he was a representative poet of the work. His first poem, An Elegy on the Death of the Young Lord Hastings, and this was totally failure work, means it was too bad uh, poem. So next one is 1659, and this was a heroic stanza he wrote on death of Cromwell. And as I told you, he was a Cromwellite, means he was follower of Cromwell. Astria Rudex, as we, I just told you, that it was a, a celebration poem for Charles II's written. Annis Mirabilis was about the great fire war with the, and uh, war with Dutch. There are two themes about Annis Mirabilis in 1667, about the great fire and the war with Dutch. Absalom and Akitophel, 1681, it was a satire. It was about popish plot and execution bill. In previous video, I told about popish, popish pl plot. Next work is Madel, and it was attack on Shaftesbury. Next is McFlecknoy in 1682. It was personal attack on his former friend named Thomas Shadwell. So, unka ek dosta Thomas Shadwell, jis par unhone ek satire likha tha, McFlecknoy in 1682. Absalom and Achitophel part 2nd. Part 2nd bhi unhone Shadwell ke liye hi likha tha. Shadwell ke liye likha. Aur usme ek important cheez ye hai ki unhone un, uska naam rakha tha. O.G. Ug. Do poem unhone likhe the. Uh, he composed two poems. Religious Lassie in 1682. Defends the argument of the church. And the Hind and the Panther. An allegorical poem about church. Some other works by him are the fables. And as a lyric poet, he composed St. Cecilia's Day in 1687 and on Alexander's Feast in 1697. So hopefully you liked the video. If you liked, please thumbs up the video literally and uh, share with your friends so that um, it can motivate me. Bye-bye. Take care. See you next video.